So, I just updated my JDK, and now whenever I go to use NetBeans, I get an error. I get this error, invalid JDK home specified. So, how do I fix this? Well, I'm going to take you through the steps real quick. So, we're going to exit out of that, and what we're going to do is we're going to open up our file explorer. We're going to go to this PC. We're going to go to Windows. We're going to go to Program Files. We're going to go to NetBeans 8.2, or whichever form of NetBeans that you have. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to go to the etc. file. And then the etc. file, you're going to find the configuration file. So you're just going to open it. I open mine with, uh, with Notepad. So let me pull that up real quick. And we are going to look. I think it was line 57. 57? Yeah, line 57. Um, you have the NetBeans JDK home. So, okay, what is this? This is where NetBeans looks for your JDK. And mine is no longer here. So now we have to go open up our Explorer again and look for where our JDK is. Uh, normally, you'll find your JDK is going to be under Program Files. Not Program Files x86, just regular Program Files. So you're going to go to this PC. You're going to go to Windows or your C file. And then you're going to go to Program Files. And then you're going to go to Java. And then you're going to go to your jdk that's installed in there in my specific situation i updated so it, it's no longer there so you're going to copy the address to it and then you're going to go back here and between the parentheses you're just going to paste the new file and this should um save it yes yes save it replace it <sighs> you hold on one second while i fix this Actually, you know what? I just thought of something. You guys might actually run into this problem too, so I'll just show you how I'm going to fix it. So all you, you got to do is you got to go back into the configuration file in your etc. folder, uh, and you're going to hit, uh, it was properties, and then you're going to go to security, the security tab, and for your user, um, I forget what the hell my user is, but anyway, for users, you're going to edit it, and go there and you're gonna just allow full control apply okay okay uh, and let's go back let's see if we could go back in um, and save this save 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 okay one second okay so going back to the NetBeans config file this is where I we need to go. This is where I messed up before. So you go to security, you go to users, you go to edit, and then over here in security, you have to go to hit users again, and you have to allow all of it. I, I already did it, so I'm just showing you guys because you're you're probably going to run into this issue. So let's go ahead and edit again, and we're going to go to the uh, 57th line all the way at the bottom, and we're going to replace this. And now once we save it, it's going to save. And uh, NetBeans IDE. And everything should start for you. There you go. 